poem was uh, published in City Arts. You guys know City Arts magazine was the last thing. A little bit. A couple of months ago. Yeah. Uh, and the title is called Blood Brothers. Everyone here know what Blood Brothers is? Yeah. All right, for the folks who don't, um, say you know somebody who you're really good friends with, but you're not related and you really want to be. So you take a knife or a pin or something that you prick into your hand, and then that person takes a knife or a pin to prick into their hand, it gets all bloody, and then you rub your blood together. This shit started pre-AIDS. Uh, you rub your blood together, and then you're blood brothers. So this is for my bro blood brother. His name is Jose. I loved Run DMC and my fake gold two-finger ring, a dollar sign stretched over white dry knuckles. I spun on old cardboard boxes in your basement until I vomited pork fried rice on your mother's junkletas. I broke your brother's favorite iced tea record, Cop Killer. I kissed your sister when you were at summer school and we had nothing else to do but curse and throw cockroaches on each other. <laughs> I stole strawberries from the Korean market after you weren't allowed in there, after the owner, a little motherfucker, caught you. That was when you first taught me, motherfucker. I was rocky until I got my front teeth busted. You were, your brother was Scarface until he got arrested and sent upstate. You would do the right thing until you didn't. There was that kid who got hit by a car each spring. The old lady with the hair rollers, except on Sundays. That was when we played Spongebob off the cement wall. You spray painted the box, our strike zone, while I wound electrical tape around the stick. There was a sick obsession with Street Fighter II and Chung Lee's spin leg kick. There was a two liter of Coke that we shared like secondhand smoke. There was that time your mother, drunk, stuck her hands in our shorts to see how we'd grown. You showed me how to keep my Jordans clean with hot water and a stiff toothbrush. You told me girls were cold as booze at McDonald's when one broke my heart like a bottle rocket that won't burn. I remember when you and I slept in the same bed, when your sheets were G.I. Joe, until your mother turned the lights off and the gunfire ceased.